We have another case here where we'll uh, diagnose the brake light on a BMW. The scanner is able to uh, work with most makes and models and it does work with BMW as well. Got a diagnostic, European BMW. This, this displays the version of the software. Go ahead and press OK. Very connected to 16 pin OBD2 port. Go next. We have the VIN number there so it knows which model this is. And first we're gonna go and look at uh, see how to read the codes and why that um, brake light is on. So you wanna look at the ABS uh, and also the DSC, the dynamic stability control unit. Let's go to system selection. Even though you can run a system scan and get the codes from all the modules. But in this case, we know we're looking for the ABS and the DSC, right? So right there, analog braking DSC, select that. The version of the software. We're gonna read the codes and you can see here brake pad wear rear axle, brake pad wear front axle sensor. So you can see the codes and these are current, so we're not able to erase these codes. We can go and clear, but that's not going to really do anything. Those codes will come right back on because the um, uh, brake wear sensor has not been replaced yet. And so you cannot clear those codes. Once you do replace the sensor, you can come to reset, brake reset, I click OK here. Let's go back here and try brake maintenance. Five series, six pound brakes. Available 100%. We need to reset this. Or let's just try that anyway. Yes. End of test mode. All right, now if we go to these back um, pads, we should not be able to reset those because they're at zero percent. So let's give it a try. Rear brakes, see available zero percent. Let's press yes. You can see that DSC control unit did not execute rear brake line and reset. Um, this is because the brake uh, rear brake pads are worn out so it's not able to reset them uh, if you do replace the brakes but you don't replace the sensor that would be also a problem and you won't be able to reset the brake light but uh, as you can see here with this scanner you can read the codes and um, also clear or reset the brake light now if, uh, if you're not able to reset the light you want to make sure that the cables you replace both sensors front and back for the brake pads and also that the sensors are plugged in uh, all the way sometimes they, they might not connect properly and then the car still thinks that um, you haven't replaced the sensor, but that's it.